Hey, welcome to the official Windows 8 channel and today we are talking about the smart screen um, security in Windows 8. Now, smart screen is a technology that started in Internet Explorer 9 and was available for Vista in Windows 7. Um, but the only problem with smart screen was in, it was only available in Internet Explorer. So if you used Google Chrome or Firefox, you could not um, have the smart screen to protect you from downloading um, files that were maybe um, infected with some kind of virus or um, you know if you download a lot from the internet different files the smart screen actually tells you um, when a file is uh, might be a, a security threat to your computer and Windows 8 they've changed that smart screen and they've actually put the smart screen into Windows so what that means is that you can now actually have smart screen protect you even if you're not using Internet Explorer 10. So now the setting affects all the browsers. If you're in Chrome or in Firefox um, or whatever other browser that is not Internet Explorer, you are protected by the new smart screen, which is pretty cool. So now you have a setting. Uh, actually, if you download a file that might be a problem, it will uh, actually show up a window, a little, a little window that's going to say, well, you know, it might not be uh, wise to download this file. Or it might tell you that this file is actually flagged as being malicious or uh, with a virus of some sort. So where's the smart screen setting and making sure that it's working? You, of course, go on the upper or lower right of the screen to get the charms bar. If you have a touch screen, you simply swipe from the right to the left and um, go into the search and start typing smart in the little search box and go on settings where you'll see that change the smart screen settings is available so I'll click there and it'll bring you the uh, security action center and all you have to do is just open the security tab by clicking on the little arrow on the right side. So um, there you'll see um, a little far away at the bottom Windows Smart Screen. So it tells you the Windows Smart Screen is helping to protect your PC from unrecognized apps and files downloaded from the internet. And if you have just below it change settings, you have the little settings that um, actually um, all the different settings the smart screen, smart screen has. So you've got three types of settings. Um, don't do anything and turn off the smart screen at the bottom here. You've got in the middle, warn before running an unrecognized app, but don't require administrator approval. And at the top is get administrator approval before running an unrecognized app from the internet, which is the recommended setting. So, I personally think you should keep that setting or if it's not there already put that setting at get administrator approval before running an unrecognized app uh, which is the one at the top um, and you'll be somewhat protected and when, fi when files are downloaded from the internet well you'll be warned about what's happening and what's uh, uh, downloaded and um, you'll be informed when a, uh, an app or a downloaded file is dangerous. You'll have a little gray screen that's going to say uh, simply Windows Smart Screen prevented an unrecognized app from starting. Um, and it's going to tell you running this app might put your PC at risk. So, um, and you, you can click a little more information when you get that message. Yes, I've uh, actually had a few uh, times when the smart screen actually prevented me from downloading a file that was really okay. Um, some special apps sometimes need programs that when you download them, um, they aren't recognized. And smart screen relies a lot on the fact that a certain file is 
um, already in its database. So if you download really special apps, for example, I'm um, I'm radio operator or in, in short wave radio listener, and some of the AM radio programs are actually not known by smart screen because they aren't very popular. It's not like downloading Skype or downloading, uh, you know, a, a program that's really, really uh, Microsoft Office or some sort, you know, uh, something that's really, really popular. Uh, so um, it did happen a few times that the smart screen prevented me from installing programs that were okay. And one of the major problems with that is that people tend to say, well, you know, smart screen says it's dangerous so uh, probably it is and I will not install it well be careful because sometimes um, it's not that bad it's just that the smart screen uh, doesn't understand and doesn't know what file that is so uh, just be careful and you know if everybody um, seems to be using a certain program without any problems well, you know, but it's it's up to you, and you got to be careful, and don't forget that it's not a good idea just because one person told you, oh, it's not dangerous. Get your opinions from a few a few persons, uh, because just one is not enough in security, and um, you know, someone can install a file and not know that there's a virus installed at the same time. Viruses are not always very you know, clear cut that you can see it on your screen what's happening. Lots of viruses are very, very uh, low profile. So uh, be careful when you download apps. So this is the uh, Windows Smart Screen Security setting. And um, turn it on. And of course, um, you can temporarily turn it off if it prevents you from downloading some program or app that you really need on your computer and that you know for sure is safe to use. So if you enjoy these videos click the subscribe button and you'll be um, really actually it's gonna let you know when new videos are online and um, if you have any comments questions maybe a review uh, some review of an a feature or an app or something that you'd like to see in Windows 8, let me know. I'll try to do a video. And if uh, you have that, maybe you have that new Windows 8 machine and you're a little lost, well, this is a great channel to come by and uh, understand a little more on how everything works in Windows 8. So thanks for watching and hope you come back to the official Windows 8 channel. Bye bye.